CW fans, I'm Tara, and I'm backstage pass here today with Flip Gordon, the new MCW Shane Shamrock Memorial Cup winner, by the way. Congratulations. Thank you so much. So excited. So excited to be here and even more excited to be the new Shane Shamrock Cup winner. Well, you know, this isn't your first appearance here at MCW. You were in the, what, 2017 Shane Shamrock Cup? I was, yep. Mm -hmm. And then I was also here for Spring Fever. That's right. And you faced Leo Rush. I did, and shared a moment with Rey Mysterio afterwards. That's right. All right, so you have a little bit of a history I here. I do have a history here. Actually, believe it or not, this is one of my favorite companies to work for, and I'm not just saying that. Really? Working here for this company is one of the reasons I love coming to Baltimore. It's one of the reasons I got signed with Ring of Honor was because of the Baltimore fans here from MCW. Wow, that's awesome. So from the time that you were here in 2017, that kind of springboard. Yeah, and I've had some big matches here in Baltimore. Not always at MCW, but right. I've had some big matches here in Baltimore. We know Baltimore has a, a, a deep wrestling history. So it does, yes. That you are a part of that as well. Thank you. Cool. So you have um, not been in the business a ton of time. What, 2015? Yeah, Was I debuted in 2015, May yeah. 6th. Yep. That is impressive. So you've done a lot Quick. in a short amount of time. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> so let me ask you, was your background as an amateur wrestler something that helped you to... Oh, 100%. Uh, my background in amateur wrestling, my background in gymnastics, mm -hmm. um, theater, um, awesome. many different things, mainly in dance, break dancing. Really? A lot of it has to, what I tell people when, when people ask me, hey, what's the easiest way to become a pro wrestler? Or what do you think I should do now? I'm in mm -hmm. high school. I always say dance, gymnastics, and wrestling. Okay. For mainly for footwork, strength, balance. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Because if I had never went to the gymnastics, I wouldn't have the body control that I have now. Right. right. And I didn't do the dancing. I wouldn't be good with rhythm and steps and like, okay, he's taking four steps to the corner. If I want to beat him there, I got to either take the steps faster or I got to back up. And mm -hmm. then obviously ring awareness that comes from dancing, right. gymnastics, even wrestling. Like when you're mm -hmm. amateur wrestling, you got a ring, you got to stay, you got to stay within that ring. Right. So you got to know ring awareness. That's, that's an there. excellent comparison. You know, wrestling in general has been um, compared to being a dance. You know, you yeah, dance absolutely. With your yeah. So you mean it as like a literal, a dance, literal dance. Yeah. That's uh, a great skill to have. So that's thank you. Yeah. Really I, cool. The way I looked at it, I was from Kalispell, Montana. Mm -hmm. WWE never came into Montana. No. WCW never went to, like none of these big TNA. Okay. None of them went to Montana. So I looked at it as, all right, I want to be a professional wrestler. What can I do now to prepare me for later? Right. So immediately it was Kurt Angle, Shelton Benjamin. I was like, all right, amateur wrestling. Yeah. So I amateur wrestled middle school, high school. Didn't think I was good enough to go to college, but I also got a scholarship to be the mascot in college. I was gonna bring that so, up. I didn't about you. Yeah. So I was like, I was like, all right, there's the amateur. And then with the mascot and theater, okay. now you're learning to work in front of a crowd. Right. It was nice being under a mask, though, because people don't know it's you. You can well, do kind of anything silly, and it's like, oh, it's just have, the like, mascot. A whole suit, like, and everything. I was a cardinal. I was Cecil the Cardinal, and it was okay. a full suit, and I would do basketball games. Wow. And by halftime, I would be drenched. I would lose five, ten pounds each game. Not even kidding. Kind of like a wrestling match. Yeah. <laughs> but it was cool, though, because I could go mess with the refs or do this or do that and play a heel right? mascot. But I'd get cheered by the crowd. You know, it was great. It was great. So early training that's pretty cool um speaking of your early training where did you get your training and who was you know your like mentor yeah so i started training at the new england pro wrestling academy mm -hmm. which head trainer at the time was brian fury um it used to be the killer kowalski school uh -huh. so they had a really good name and a really good background and a really good track record right before i started training there kofi kingston went there mm -hmm. sasha banks went there at the time, Donovan Dijak was going there. Mm. And then up and coming, like literally the first person I ever touched in the ring was Carmelo Hayes, who's North American champion right now for NXT. So it's like I looked at the history of that school and I was like, man, this is a good school. And I was debating between Lance Storm School up mm -hmm. in Alberta and Booker T School down in uh, Houston. Right, and so I chose the Northeast. And I didn't know pro wrestling was so cool up here. <laughs> so you had to leave Montana. I did, yes. I miss here. Montana. Yeah. But I love the East Coast. I don't know what it is about it, but the East Coast is just something special. In Montana, you could drive four or six hours still be in the state. Right. Here, you drive four or six hours, you can go through two, three, four states. You might make it around the Beltway. 
It's true, yeah. In yeah. rush hour, so yeah. We, we like I always get I always get lost on the beltway, believe it or not. Oh always. I'm not even kidding. You know, every single time. I lived here for years before I understood that the beltway was a literal belt. Like I didn't understand it. Like somebody had to show me a picture. Like a map. Yeah. And they're like, look, this is the inner loop. This is the outer loop. And I'm like, oh my God, that's why they call it a beltway. I had no idea. Like that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. I honestly I've never looked at it at a map, but I guess that does make sense. Cause it always confused me. Like you're on the inner and then the outer. Yeah. Then the GPS sometimes would be like, you need to be on the inner. And they're like, no, no, you're trying to get over, and then you realize it's it's just the same road. You're like, so I stress just to move over for no reason. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Which is why it's so traumatic driving on our beltway. I hate traffic being from Montana because, oh, to be honest, to when I moved to the East Coast, it was in 2014. Mm -hmm. The state of Montana barely had over a million people. Wow. Then I moved to Boston, where the city of Boston <laughs> has like three or four million people every single day. Okay, I hate driving in Boston. So now and then, but yeah. dr driving in Boston taught me how to be a very good, okay. aggressive driver. <laughs> well, you need that here. So and at the time, I had a pickup. At the time, I was driving on wow. a full-size pickup in Boston, in rush hour, in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, driving the New England Pro Wrestling Academy two to three days a week. And it was it was two to two and a half hours to get there, oh, wow. depending on traffic. Right. To get back was only an hour and a half. Mm, that's traffic. Something like an hour of traffic. Yeah. I do a commute in the mornings that it's like, it's 12 miles, and it takes me 45 minutes. So, so I'm not going anywhere. So being from Montana, we used to, like, I used to complain. I don't say we, but I'm sure mm -hmm. most people... Me and my parents used to complain about having to drive into town. Oh. 25 minutes. <laughs> so now when people are like, oh, 30 minutes too far, an hour is too far. I'm like, you have no idea. No idea, right. I'm like, people in Boston drive an hour to an hour and a half each way yeah. just to get to and from work each day. Right. So 20 minutes, 30 minutes is nothing now. Even, honestly, two hours, easy. Yeah, as long as there's not traffic. Like, I don't mind driving. Even with traffic you anymore. Know? What's You know what I mean? I used to be like, oh, I don't want to go see my cousin. They're 20 minutes away. I'll see him <laughs> next time I see him. Now, if I'm in town or if there's a friend in town, I'm like, dude, you're an hour away from me. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of close, but I haven't seen you in a few months. I'll drive the hour. Wow. Because life, life's short. You don't know when your cousin, you don't know when your friend, you all the so pro right. wrestlers. Mm -hmm. It's like, what's an hour? A lot of people waste an hour playing on their phone on the couch. Oh. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, the cat videos suck you in, okay? Oh, I hate social media. I can't because of that reason. You, like, you'll get sucked in. Next thing you know, is you'll be like, what? five o'clock i sat down at noon yeah You're wasted five hours you know I'm not a social media fan either so i was going to ask you that how can your fans find you if you're... so the only place actually not the only place because okay. i just linked it but the only two places to find me are technically facebook it's instagram which is my main thing mm -hmm. but then i link everything to this facebook page i don't know how it translates or converts over but it does somehow well they own it the reels don't, <laughs> but like the pictures and like the regular videos do. Yeah. Um, but the Flip Gordon, that's my Instagram. I believe it's the same thing for the Facebook. Um, I don't have Twitter. Um, I don't really have, I have YouTube, but I don't know how to use it. I tried. That's okay. Very complicated. Um, I don't have Twitch. I don't have TikTok. I don't have any of those things. Right. Uh, I do have a website, however. <laughs> it's not done, okay. but it's going to be flipgordon.com. All right. And I'll give you a little spoiler. That's going to be where all my merch is you're not gonna be able to get my merch on pro wrestling tees you're not gonna be able to get it here unless you're live at a show the only place to get my merch is flipgordon.com all right so, well I slash store you're wearing it right now absolutely you the you, and the shirt. actually this flip is a live exclusive you can only get this shirt if you come see me in person but this hat it's available 30 bucks online flipgordon.com slash store i'll be also uploading eight by ten signed eight by tens limited eight by tens i think i got 11 by 14s i got action figures i got oh i got what? so much do stuff that's going on there. Do you i don't do cameos okay. if you want to see me you need to come to a show live all right well I think or a meet and greet okay only two ways you meet me <laughs> all right well um you're probably working and traveling a lot going to shows i take it yeah i have another show tomorrow wow so it never stops you know grind keeps going yes it does well thank you for taking time out of your really busy schedule Absolutely. celebrating i'm sure you have yes to go do they got champagne for me in the next room awesome actually. well our fans now know how to find you yes the happen. flip gordon don't forget it we'll see you next year or yes sooner <laughs> probably sooner all right definitely sooner thank you